I'm doing a uh, series on stents and whether they help. They don't. Uh, pardon me for jumping to the conclusion. <laughs> Actually, they do. If you're having, uh, they do sometimes decrease uh, active angina. And they definitely help if you're having a heart attack, uh, some types of heart attack. But 85% uh, of stents are not given for that. 85% um, of stents are given for stable disease. So I've, I've been doing a series on this. This is um, part three of the series. The effect of PCI, that's percutaneous intervention, in other words, stents, on long-term survival in the patients with stable ischemic heart disease. So um, this is actually, it's, uh, actually a 15-year um, a follow-up on the COURAGE trial. So uh, hang on and I'll give you just uh, a few, a few uh, facts about it. But first, a brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. Um, and this channel is all about, it's PrevMed, it's all about helping uh, our patients avoid unnecessary disease, death, disability, dementia, heart attack, stroke, um, and maybe unnecessary instrumentation. This, uh, was not, this was not done in a shabby journal. It was done in the New England Journal of Medicine. Um, again, the number one journal in the world right now for medicine. And this is basically a follow-up on the COURAGE trial, which was published, I think it was back, it, I think COURAGE was published originally in uh, 2007. It was a trial of a few thousand people that had stable coronary disease, um, and they compared stent versus no stent and saw absolutely no difference in their short-term death rate, heart attack rate, stroke rate. Um, <clears throat> here, it was, this was published in November 12th, 2015, New England Journal. And again, I will give you the, um, a connection below or, or a link below the video. And again, it's the follow-up from the original COURAGE trial. So what were they doing here? They were saying, well, okay, maybe stents help long-term. Maybe they didn't decrease heart attack, stroke, death, for the first four years, but if you follow this, these patients over a 15-year period, does it help uh, death rate at that point? So, uh, just uh, again, repetition on how the, how the study was done, who it was done on. It was the COURAGE trial. Uh, this is the background and the, abst uh, the abstract for it. Uh, PCI, in other words, um, stents. Uh, June, it, between June 99 and January of 2004, that's when they collected these people. This, were, this was a large uh, study group. There were 50, 50 50 sites all over North America that were doing this. Um, 2287 patients with ischemic uh, heart disease, stable disease. Initial management of PCI versus just uh, standardized lifestyle and medications. At that point, in the original COURAGE trial, they did a median follow-up of about 4.6 years. Now they're reporting the follow-up of 15 years. Actually, on average, they didn't get that long, but they did have some good follow-up. Uh, the results, 50 of 12, uh, 1,211 patients uh, or 53 percent of the original population they were able to find uh, for extended survival information. The median duration of follow-up for all patients was 6.2 years. The range was 0 to 15 years. So as I said, it was, con it was booked as a 15-year follow-up. The median follow-up for these people was actually 6.2 and um, up to half of them uh, were lost. So if they were lost because they died early because they didn't have the stent, then maybe there's something there. But uh, uh, again, that's why this is in the New England Journal. There's, this is very uh, critical to know information. This is not, it's not likely that you're getting a long-term follow-up, and that's what they're showing. Um, <clears throat> 
the median duration of follow-up for patients that did allow long-term uh, survival tracking was 11.9 years. So again, that was uh, not shabby follow-up. Uh, you could say, you can argue about how good the follow-up was. The uh, bottom line is this. 284 deaths, 25% in the PCI group. 277 uh, deaths, or 24%, in the non-PCI group. Again, it's interesting, as you saw in the original study, it's not significant, but the reality was there were more deaths in the, uh, in the PCI group. Not enough to, uh, to make me afraid and say, hey, you're going to kill yourself if you get a stent. Um, <clears throat> Won't go over the adjusted hazards ratio or the probabilities again. Well, yes, I will. The again probability of 0.76, meaning um, what you're looking for to say stents would help. You'd want a probability of 0.01 or less than 0.05. Uh, and with a lot of studies, good intervention trials on interventions that actually work, you'll see a probability of less than 0.001. You don't see that with stents. Stents don't help in stable coronary disease. They do help. Let me clarify. They do help if you're having an event and some types of myocardial infarction, some types of events. What portion of stents are done for that? About 15%. So again, 85% of stents being done today are uh, not helping the patient. Thank you again for your interest.